Well, the report highlights that there's demographic and fiscal trends that are colliding to challenge us in our long-term development in a number of ways, retirement security, health care, uh, infrastructure investment, and others. And perhaps the most surprising finding is that it's actually our progress in some areas that's actually amplifying these risks in others. Uh, we've made a lot of progress in health care in terms of improving lifespans for people. But that very, those very advances are putting pressure on the retirement issue as well as the health care cost issue. You know, our uh, uh, consultants and brokers have increasingly, I think, brought the report to their clients' attention. I think it helps build awareness of what some of the bigger issues out there are, and that uh, draws attention to the needs that our clients have. Marsh McLennan Companies is a professional services firm that uh, provides services in the areas of risk, insurance, strategy, human capital. Uh, our clients are facing uh, a number of these uh, challenges that are addressed in the report, and we provide advice and solutions against those challenges. So I think for us, uh, there's a lot of change going on, there's a lot of risk uh, out there, and that creates opportunities for us to deliver advice and solutions. The Seeds of Dystopia refers to this idea that progress uh, in society in one area could be uh, undermining uh, society in other ways. And I think uh, the particular things that we highlighted within that were three areas where we think our long-term development is at risk. Uh, let, me, let me give you three examples. Uh, the examples come from uh, retirement income, uh, health care costs, and financial markets. So let's start with retirement income. The older part of our population is growing faster than the population as a whole. And yet at the same time, uh, the wealth of that group has been declining. So because of the uh, elements of the financial crisis coming to bring the value of pension plans down and other forms of retirement security down by as much as a quarter. So you look at this combination of events and the fact that people are not uh, putting uh, long-term savings to work as much as they should in a productive society, and you're heading on a course where there's going to be a lot of people uh, who are going to be disappointed with the, uh, reti their retirement security. Uh, healthcare costs are escalating, as is reported widely in the news. Uh, we uh, looked at it in the context of the report and found that healthcare costs are growing 3% faster than GDP across the OECD for the last 30 years. The recent crisis has caused investors to go more short-term in their investment, and so there's a lack of long-term funding for things like infrastructure and other longer-term corporate projects, uh, which ultimately could undermine our economic development because that type of long-term funding is critical for productivity and growth. So why are people going shorter term? Uh, consumers tend to get more risk averse when times go bad, but also they've lost trust in the financial sector. Well, I think there's both opportunities in the private sector as well as in the public sector. And in the private sector, I think it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you can find an effective solution to something like um, improving health care uh, quality at reduced cost or finding retirement solutions where there's ample com consumer demand for that type of solution, uh, you know, there's a, there's a profit opportunity, there's a real private sector uh, opportunity. I think on the, on the public sector side, uh, it's really the opportunity to set your uh, country in motion uh, for longer term economic growth and development. I think, look at the flip side, if, if these issues are left unaddressed, they're certainly going to exacerbate fiscal problems that governments already have. Properly addressed and in, in the right context where expectations are realigned, you could set a country on a path toward a much stronger uh, and sustainable economic development path. The government, in many ways, is taking on new risks in the form of um, retirement and health care as those are getting shifted from the corporate sector to the government sector. One area where the government sector could potentially shift some of this back 
is actually in the area of uh, financial risks um, and to the insurance sector, for example, in terms of catastrophic risk for natural disasters. So you see this being discussed in the context of flood insurance in the United States, where potentially that could get, some of the risk of that could get moved to the insurance sector.